Welcome to the Ape tutorial video series, video number 10. This video will cover various translation and mutagenesis tools. The first tool that we'll talk about is available under the ORFS um, menu within the main menu that is called Translate. So if you select a cDNA sequence and select Translate, you can translate the current selection. Then you can set how you would like the translation formatted. Click OK and it will generate a simple text translation of that region. You can also select if you have features that are of type CDS. They will show up within this drop down menu and you can choose to um, translate just that region. And even if the CDS feature has um, gaps, it's discontinuous, it contains introns, you can um, do the translation of that region and those parts that are not highlighted as part of the feature will be taken out and the translation will be done of the, um, of the spliced form. If you would like to search um, within the sequence for open reading frames, you can do find next. That's also um, either control greater than symbol or command greater than symbol, depending on whether you're on the PC or on the Mac. And you can select whether that search will start looking with a methionine codon and ATG, or whether it will start the first base after a stop codon. Whether you can search both the top, the bottom, or both strands, and the minimum base pairs that the um, open reading frame has to have before it will stop at that location. So if you um, use that repeatedly, you can find any number of open reading frames within your sequence. If you'd like to see all of the open reading frames that are available within a particular sequence, you can use the ORF map tool. This generates a um, graphical representation of all the open reading frames within the DNA sequence. It's scrollable. And you can see that there are six different um, horizontal rectangles. Three of them are pink and blue. Those represent the forward three reading frames. Three of them are orange and green, and those represent the three reverse frames of the sequence. You can set the minimum open reading frame length here. And as you um, increase the minimum open reading frame length, you see that fewer and fewer regions are highlighted in um, pink, blue, orange, or green. So as you see on the um, legend here, the pink regions are between two stop codons, while the blue regions are from a start codon, which are represented by these half tick marks, to a stop codon, which are the full height lines. Likewise, in the reverse frames, the full height lines are stop codons, and the um, half lines that start from the top and go down halfway are the start codons. So the green and the blue are start to stop, and orange and pink are stop to stop. And if you click on any one of these, it will take the selection, the selected, um, a selection of the sequence to that region. So, for example, this is the ampicillin resistance gene in the backbone of the sequence. Sometimes you might have a point mutation that you'd like to detect within um, a genomic sequence. And for that, we have a tool called the DCAPS calculator. This is within the mutagenesis tools section. If you, for example, had a um, point mutation of this C to a G that you would like to design a PCR reaction to detect within a um, genomic region, 
you can use the, uh, the DCAPS calculator within the tools menu. So you've selected that C and then if the alternative site is a G, you can set a minimum mismatch for the tool and then have it calculate and it will find all of the restriction sites that can be um, used either in a forward primer or reverse primer within a DCAPS mutagenesis detection reaction. On the other hand, if you'd like to introduce a um, mutation for use as, um, as a diagnostic within a particular, within a, um, within a, a mutagenesis, there are two options. You can either do silent sites where it will preserve the open reading frame while in while searching for restriction sites for example if i wanted to introduce a sap1 site within um, the ampicillin resistance gene i could introduce that silently leaving the alp translation frame intact by inserting this T in place of this C within the sequence. If the region that I'm mutating does, is not an open reading frame, you can use the Add Diagnostic Site tool, which will um, search for potential restriction sites and um, minimize the number of mismatch bases in, within the search. So in this case, you can introduce a SAP1 restriction site by mutating this T to a G within the selected region. That's the end of video 10 of the APE video series.